review of my Vader's Vault Revan Elite. <laughs> Included in the box when you buy it, you'll get the lightsaber itself, a battery charger, which is a standard trust fire uh, charger. You'll get Allen key or a hex wrench for undoing and doing up the uh, blade retention screw. You'll get a guitar pleck, which is useful for moving batteries and for playing the guitar. Um, and you'll get business cards inside a little plastic wallet. Um, plastic wallet helps these two things in it as well. And then, obviously, you'll also get the blade, um, which is a this is a 32 inch um, blade, standard grade, um, I didn't go bother going for the heavy grade. It's got a bullet tip and it's got a blade cap at the end for stopping the um, blade film coming out or um, letting dust in. The first thing you'll notice is how small it is. Um, to compare, this is a Ultra, an Ultra Savers Initiate um, V3. So I'll put the two parallels rather and you can see the Vader's Vault is much thinner. Make that in focus. Yeah, the Vader's Vault is much thinner. Um, it's also a bit shorter. Um, the um, Ultra Saber does have a catalyst pommel on the end, but without the catalyst pommel, they would be about equal, give or take. With it being so small, um, it makes it really comfortable for dueling with. You can hold it with one hand or two hands very comfortably. Um, there's no sharp edges anywhere, there's no sort of Funny intrusions anyway, the only thing intruding is the curved tip wheel, but that's right at the bottom anyway. Um, all the places you'd expect to find sharp edges, like the pommel cubes, or these edges here have been very nicely rounded off, there's nothing you're going to um, injure yourself on at all. It's very nicely machined, um, all the black accents are very accurately um, anodized or painted in there. Um, the copper accent as well is very nice and, nice and even. Um, the lambskin, this is lambskin leather wrap. Which is very comfortable, very soft, and very evenly applied. Um, and then, yeah, it's it's just a beautiful piece of um, artwork here. It's very, very nicely made, um, very nicely um, set in AV switch. This saber has the RGB Sun Crusher LED. Um, Sun Crusher basically means it's a trinacre rather than a single gree, so it's going to be a bit brighter. And the RGB means it's a color changer. Um, it's got a crystal shard 2.5 um, soundboard in it. Um, when it arrives it will be in deep sleep mode. To get out of deep sleep you either press the activation button um, or you tap the auxiliary button, like, like so. Um, the crystal shard can hold um, six sound fonts. Um, when it arrives it will have three, it will have dark meat, like me light meat and uh, imperial night. Um, so that's um, Shatterpoint which is just booted up now. Um, that's from Genesis Custom Sabers. Um, I bought it off soundfont.com which has got all your different sound fonts you could possibly want on there. Um, to start up the saber, obviously activation key, activation button, and this is shatter point which is a mace window inspired uh, sound font so of course we've got a purple um, lightsaber. I'll put a blade in for you, so you just have to remove the desk. It's quite tight, it keeps it on which is good. Remove the desk and You can see the blade's got a slight sort of flicker to it, sort of fades in and out of it. So you can see it's brighter there now, it's dimming down. That's just the lights over doing that rather than the camera. Um, as it's the RGB Sun Crusher, it also has flash on flash. So. Which is hard to activate when it's on a solid table, it turns out. <laughs> there you go. It's also got more motion swings. And it's got auxiliary effects, so you've got blast lock, and you've got blade lock up. And every different sound font, every different colour will have the flash and flash as well, um, with the RGB sun pressure. Um, also with this sound font and all the sound fonts which um, are produced by Genesis Custom Savers by Mad Cow, um, when you change colour, they'll, have a, they'll play a colour change sound. Most sound fonts will just play a swing sound, but these will change um, with a colour change sound. Um, so to change colour, you tap the auxiliary and the activation key, 
Boston even, and I'll change font and change color even, and you heard the um, color change sound go there. So it went from purple to magenta. This is a, a silvery white. It's got a slight hint of blue to it, which is really nice. Actually, I'll make it a silver color. It goes well with the Imperial Knight sound font. Lime green, uh, red, and um, their orange, or the Old Republic orange um, color. Uh, it's a golden yellow. Uh, it's a true green, blue. So lighter blue, sort of cyan color. And back to purple again. Another good thing about the crystal shard is that if you hold down the auxiliary switch while turning on the saber, it turns on in silent mode, which is good for if you're just swing around late at night or um, if you're shooting a review video and don't want to have to compete with the sound of the lightsaber itself. Um, so yeah, that was a Shatterpoint sound one you heard. When you turn off the saber in uh, mute mode it will play the um, blade deactivation sound to tell you that it's going back to normal mode again. To change sound font you hold down the activation, uh, the auxiliary key and I'll change to another sound font. Let me activate it again. It'll be in the colour... Turn it off. It'll be in the colour that you left that sound font on at. So if I were to go back to Shatterpoint now, it'll go back to being in purple because that was the colour we left it off at. I think the only negative thing about the whole buying experience for me... I'm just going to roll off. The whole negative thing about the buying experience for me was probably the wait time. Um, I ordered this on July the 8th um, and it had an advertised wait time of six to eight weeks back then. And um, I knew obviously with The Force Awakens coming up, um, which has now since been released, and then also the uh, Christmas holidays coming up as well, um, there was going to be an increase in orders. Um, but what happened was um, eight week mark came and went, um, and it eventually took 24 weeks to arrive, which was a bit um, disappointing, but let's be honest, it's definitely worth the wait. Um, I've heard that Vader's Fault are actually trying to cut down on their um, backlog at the moment, they're employing new staff at the moment, so hopefully they're trying to drop that down to, I think I've seen about four weeks quoted somewhere, which is, that's like, to be able to produce something of this quality on a mass scale in four weeks is really, really excellent. So I look forward to when that happens, it's <laughs> fault. Um, yeah, the lightsaber itself is absolutely fantastic. As I said, it's definitely worth the wait, regardless of how long you're waiting for it. Absolutely worth the wait. Um, and I really recommend you go and buy one of the lightsabers. Um, even if it's not um, RGB, the RGB is very cool. Um, but if you were to get a lightsaber which is very specific in colour for your, in your opinion, then just go for the um, Suncrusher LED. The Suncrusher LED is really, really bright. Um, it's comparable to all my other lightsabers I've got. Um, it's comparable to, say, Forge 12 watt, um, and and the ultra sabers I've got as well, it's definitely comparable to those, um, even though it's running um, only one uh, die at a time, particularly with this red. It's only running the red die. And it's still very bright. So yeah, absolutely recommend these. Um, go and check them out on uh, vadesvault.com. Um, I can guarantee you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching my review. Um, if you like what I do here, click like. Um, Leave a comment in the comments box for suggestions or questions. I'll try and get back to as many as I can. Um, hit subscribe. I've got a few more um, review videos coming out in the next month or so. Um, and then uh, hopefully going to be doing a how-to video for uh, my next costume. So keep your eyes open for that.